Hi guys, Retro Django here, back with another Amiga FPGA emulation video. We made part one with this Sidewonder FPGA Amiga emulator. Thousands of views, hundreds of questions. You guys love this. Now, subscribers on my channel that love to enjoy the retro computers like the Amiga, like the Commodore 64, most of them are purists just like me. Most of them are elitists. My subscribers has got so many Amigas, all the hardware they just could dream about back as a kid back in the 90s. They have them today. And my viewers, they just know that we don't want to use time on settling for a lesser experience than, in, than the real deal. We don't like to emulate on a Raspberry Pi Amiga, shit like that. Absolutely not. We want the best. We want great audio. We want great experience. And with this DE Nano 1, it's amazing. I can't ex imagine how it is with the uh, DE 10. It must be 10 times better than this. I, I have to try it out, okay? I have reached out to two sellers and both of them knew about my YouTube channel. Both of them said when they have them on storage, they will send them to me, review with samples. I'm looking forward to it because this one has got video out to SCAR on my analog TV here that digitizes the, the signal. It looks absolutely amazing. But this one has also got um, VGA out. And I tried that signal earlier today on a PC monitor. I think it's a 27 inch PC monitor with VGA out. And I tried to adjust the pitch and all sort of stuff like that, but it's just the VGA out was not a good experience. So I'm thinking with the newer one, with you know HDMI out, how is it going to be? Because this SCART connector on this old TV I think it's 10 years old. It looks crystal clear. It has got mini jack out to my speakers. They're amazing. I know they should be uh, left and right. I don't have the room, so it's top and bottom. It's forced mono, I don't care. It sounds 10 times better than what this screen could, could, could deliver. So I'm just in love with it. So, with all the questions, all the try this game, try that game, how does it run with this game, my Raspberry Pi runs it so bad at this game, I, it's just so many questions. So let's play five or six games on this lovely device. Everything is on the descriptions down below, direct link to the seller of this card so you can see it, it, it is everything there but because of the part shortage it's just not easy to get fpga solutions but i'm telling you guys when i approve this you know how i am then you just have to trust me that it's not one-to-one -one, but really close experience and the audio part i mean don't get me started with raspberry pi's audio i mean nothing can save that the audio, the Amiga's Polar audio chip, I love it. And the audio has just, that's the first thing. If the Raspberry Pi can't do that, then just throw it out the window. This is amazing. So let's go ahead and try some games, guys. Now, before we try gaming, I just wanna say, the guy that donated this device to this channel, my dear friend Yuko from Sweden, he actually was online on Messenger with me, showing me how to set up a PC with Win AU, Windows U Amiga emulator, whatever dude. And he showed me a couple of tricks and it was so simple, so easy. So with the PC, we entered the SD card 
and I copied over my Amiga 1200 AGA image over to this card with my music, my games, everything. Yuko, thank you, brother. I couldn't do it without your help. And I must say that when you a thing, so simple, man, so easy. Now, after I have learned about it, <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. So. What we're going to do, we're going to test Lotus. I mean, you guys did write hundreds of different games, but the games that I just remember, let's try them out, okay? Now look at this image. This image is just, it's pure awesomeness. It's just like on my Amiga 1200. Look here, I have an old PC um, keyboard from my 486 PS2 plug. It's plugged in there, and I get games and workbench, and I choose games. And it loads so fast, as you can see, now we have games. Uh, what was it? It was Lotus. And I go down to L. I'm emulating an 68020 with this. It emulates AGA. Oh, that's probably Little Weapon. Now, Little Weapon, 1992. Let's see if it works or if it crashes. Okay, let's just test four, five, six games on this video part two because I am. Oh. It's the first time for me also on this. So close to the Amiga music, it's, it's it's incredible, man! It's incredible how well it is. Oh. It's wow, man! Come on, it, it's so well done. Wow. Now, some of you guys did write to me. <laughs> Some audio glitches there. Oh. All right, it works. Fine. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go down to low. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something, guys. Let's. Uh, L O S. Let me see Lotus, there we go. Let's take uh, Turbo Challenge 2, right? Let's see how it runs. Now, on video part one, the description was that this FPGA was a great Amiga 1200 AGA emulator. And some of you guys just went ape shit with it. It's not emulating, it's... Hardware one to one recreating cycle exact running. First, we got the vampire for the Amiga and it was emulating. And then vampire fanboys got really angry and said, You can't use that word. You have to call it simulating because it's simulating an Amiga. Then we called it simulating and then they got angry again and then said, It's not simulating, it's recreating on hardware level, cycle exit. So many new, modern, beautiful words and no one cares, okay? So, let me just make it clear. The FPGA here emulates the Amiga system, okay? We don't have to talk more about that, so I'm gonna just call it emulation, emulating. You know what I mean, okay? So, yeah, it is what it is. Let's call it that, good. Let's see. Set. No music? That's sad. Oh, I have auto fire on, sorry guys. How the, oh, okay. <laughs> it's not automatic. Wow. 
absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. And you were also talking about the mini A500, yeah, A500 mini. And you know what, guys? The second that I have to go in, it, this is this is great. That I have to go in and put the speed up and down and jit and uh, blitter and wait for shit. That is just it. I want everything to just feel like an Amiga 1200. Okay, it's so important to me. Yes, I can press F12 here. I can put in uh, ADF Amiga disk files on the USB. It has got USB plug also. Just check out the link on the description. Okay. I can do that, I can go in and uh, put in other hard, hard disks uh, through the micro SD card. I can uh, go in here on chipset and take it down and extra RAM, take it down, choose another kickstart. I can go in the CPU, take it down to 68,000, remove the AJ and make it to a um, ECS OCS system. But the thing is, I love the system because I don't have to mess around with it. Okay, it's just an O20. Yeah, it could be faster. As you can see here, it takes some time. When I press, it takes some, I don't know, milliseconds, 10 milliseconds or something to load the picture. It is what it is, guys. But let's go in here to Super Frog, Super Frog. I have tried Super Frog actually, I know it works, but I just want to show it to you guys because I have heard the audio has some sort of delay on other emulators. So let's go in here. Uh, Super Tetris, Super Man, Super Switchblade, Super Frog. Now this is from 1993, it's an ECS game, it's not an AGA game, but it works perfect with Amiga 1200 AGA, okay. Uh, and I love that, of course, I got an SD card with this, but I love that I can copy my Amiga's image, put in one file, the core, one file, together with that uh, HDF image, and it boots and it works. So simple that Retro Django can do it. If I can do it, everybody in the world can do it. Okay, because some guys did write, oh, you're an expert, you're an... I'm not an expert. I'm just a happy guy that plays my old games. I'm not an Amiga expert. I'm not gonna learn more about the, the system and all stuff like that. I wanna enjoy it. I mean, back in 92 or something, I enjoyed my Amiga 600, had some fun, and now my mission was to put as much Amiga hardware and document it on YouTube as possible, and I'm telling you, I have about 700 videos, uh, a lot of Amiga stuff, so a lot of hardware, software, everything I have showed, uh, yeah, documented so much, guys, so yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the, yeah, darn it, you know what? It's absolutely perfect. It runs cycle exec, hardware recreated, one to one. And then you said one real old game, this one. This one should be tricky. Uh, let me see how it um, disabled timing fix. Disabled bonus rounds. All right, let's see what's going to happen. Sweet! Seven years I trained Wing Chun Kung Fu as a kid. And this game, oh, I loved it. Yeah! How was it, man? I played this on my Commodore 64. <laughs> oh. How do I turn around? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I love that sound! Listen to that kick! Come on! Listen to this! Oh! 
<laughs> yeah! <laughs> Come on, get out. Come on, let's run that. Works, works great. All right, let's try another game here. Pang, where's Pang? Pang is over here. Pang from 1990. We're gonna test some games, guys. This is FPGA, Unlimited Lives. Force Blitter waits on 68,000 machines. The thing is, we don't want to move nothing. It, it should just work, right? Just work. Yeah. I don't have to think about, do I have an Amiga 1200 here or not? It should just, I mean, the picture quality is incredible. No lag uh, from my joystick control to the screen, no lag. The audio, audio, I mean, it's amazing. Wow. Also, thank you all you guys for understanding when I said uh, settling for less because I, don't, I didn't want to sound like a dick, you know? Uh, but you all understood what I meant by it. We don't want to settle, right? We only live once, man. Have the best. And this, this, this system is DE10, DE1. I mean, think about DE10, man. It must be amazing. <laughs> oh! What? <laughs> We're gonna test LM Breed. Uh, special edition should have audio problems. Don't know. Let's try. Special edition. Where's the music? Can you see? Emulator. <laughs> Okay, alien breed. Mm. There we go, alien breed. Tower assault. We don't have special edition. Alien badge, alien breed. Oh, sorry guys. Oh, there. here we have got the special edition from 1992. Let's go ahead. It failed, return to code 10. Yeah, all right. <laughs> nice. Again, this is my Amiga 1200's image. Oh, love this. All right. I can hear the left and right channel auto separation. And it stands like this, and I can hear it. <laughs> Absolutely, the speed, the everything. I mean, buy this. If you're a purist, buy this. It's so effing good. It's. Amazing. It irritates me that we don't have no music. Colonization, let's try colonization. Uh, Cannon Father, oh, it's a nice game. Castle, Chambers of Shaolin, all right. What was that? Defender from, oh, this was a great game. Nice. Uh, what was it? Colonization, right? CO, um, conflict, coloni colonization, AGA. This is the AGA version from 1995. Preload is activated, so it loads everything to memory. It has got 20 megabyte of fast RAM, uh, two megabyte chip RAM, of course, and half megabyte of slow RAM. <laughs> and it emulates, it, it runs at um, 25 megahertz. So beautiful is that. So beautiful is that. Okay, let's test a few games. Let's go down to something. 
car. I have no idea. Our top, I have played uh, Railroad Tycoon, Rainbow Island, let me see, Rainbow 3. Let's test that. From 1989, it's an Amiga 500 game that ran with Kickstarter 1.3. So let's see what's gonna happen, okay? Have no idea. And we're using the best joystick ever, the zipstick with auto fire and my Amiga mouse. So I have the, you know, Amiga feeling. It's not like the A500 Mini with that joypad. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> There we go. Search the enemy, Ford and fine Colonel Troutman to complete the first part of your mission. Go! It's hard to explain. The music, the music is... with a lot of bass on it and listen to the music with a lot of bass, okay? It's, it's, it's amazing! Master Blaster. Let me see... Mean Arenas, I know that game. Let's try. From 1993, last game, okay? And let's wrap up this video. Again, part two. And if you are still as excited as before, oh, that game where you fly and Uridium, yeah, we have to try Uridium. Yes, let's choose English. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this music. Come on, this music. Mean arenas. All right. Contestant yeah. ready. I'm ready. <coughs> oh, message. Beautiful. What? We have music now? What? 
the music didn't work, not with words. Again, emulator guys, sometimes it is uranium. I don't have your build down here. This game should be hard to emulate. I don't know, I have not emulated the uh, uranium 2. I don't have uranium 1, sorry guys. I don't remember what you did right, but now we're trying number 2 here. Let's see. Uh, yeah. That image hard. Yeah, it doesn't work. There you can see. That's why we are purists, right? That's why we are. What was the other word? Purist and. Uh, I always. Purist. Fuck, I can't remember it. That's why we love the Amiga. This shit doesn't happen. Make cordon. Yeah. We can't uh, do it like this, so I have to go in here. Oh. It crashed. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So I can't run Uridium, but I can run something with N. That's called Naughty Ones. Not AGA, it has absolutely, it wants AGA so well. I mean, try that SAGA on the Vampire and the Stork. But, um, yeah. Ninja, let's try. Sh oh, wait. Shadow, uh, I think it was called Shadow Ninja. Yeah, well, let's end it with Shadow Ninja because of the music. Oh my God, let's try it. Dragon Breath. Uh, um, yeah, Shadow. I want to show you so many games, but this one on the Mega 500. That music. It was amazing, guys. I loved it. And you guys that own a Mr. You're lucky, man. You're so lucky. What? This is one champ or what? It sounds itchy. No, no. We have audio trouble. Uh, it shouldn't sound like that. Now, I have found out, if we check out video part number one, if we go in and change it to the 68,000 CPU and just run, you know, OCS or ECS, I don't care. Um, if I do it like this and take the RAM down and reset, then this will work much, much better. Uh, we have tested it with another game, uh, what was it, Switchblade, there we checked it, where, where we took the RAM down and all stuff like that, and emulated it in Omega 500, and it worked, okay, but my thing is, I don't want to do that, that's too much for me, <gasps> oh, this song. last game, are you ready, are you ready, are you ready guys, we're going to try this game, and it's going to be something, Um. I think it's this one from nineteen eighty nine. I think this one, I don't care about the game, but the music was so cool. Yes, it's this one. Accolade presents 
Just like a test drive. Fox man, you. Oh, how cool is that? <laughs> I absolutely love it, man. Wow. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, part two of this FPGA. <laughs> Accolade presents. Oh. <laughs> it's so good. I can't. Yeah. Um, I hope this one answered your question, so I just want to say thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I wish you a great day out there, man. Summer, so nice, so yeah, enjoy everything, enjoy your life, enjoy, enjoy it, man, just have fun, we only live one, just have fun, man, don't settle for nothing, okay, have a great day out there, Retro Django, out. Oh, it's so good, guys. It's so good. Why settle for less, man? Right? Oh, 20 and 80 megahertz. <laughs> <laughs> 